hello, human. It's good to see you're waking up. I tried to tell them that they were using a little too much gas. I was worried you'd be asleep for a while. But it looks like you're waking up. Please don't be alarmed. We don't mean to hurt you. We just want to study you. Well, we've been watching your kind for a while. Mm -hmm. And we just find you fascinating. Oh, don't worry. I know many languages in our solar system. You speak the English, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, my name is Mikadatskintionatike. Mm -hmm. I could understand why that would be hard for you to pronounce, human. So you can just call me Ari. Wonderful. Yes. I am not in the room with you, though. For our own safety, since we were unsure if you all were hostile, I am using a hologram projection. But with our technology, I should be able to still conduct our research and test. Well, yes, we can still touch you. You humans are quite behind in your advancement of technology. <laughs> but we'll get into more of that later. I'll just be taking a look at you for now. Wonderful. How are you feeling? Just try and relax. Let's take things slow. Hmm? Yeah. We're going to start by doing an exam of you. Let me just grab my scanner one moment. I'm just going to turn this on, and then I'm going to use it to scan your body. Okay, human? Oh, I suppose you're right. Where am I being belong to? Oh, manners. <laughs> Let me just scan you real quick. And what is your name? So I don't have to call you human. That is an ugly name. I mean, that is a wonderful name. Just send that. Data back to my computer here. Hmm. 
who ARI stands for Artificial Intelligence Relationships. Well, there's tons of us back on my planet. We can be used for work, we can be used for friendships, we can be used for romantic relationships. Mm -hmm. And we're completely customizable. I work for, yes, the people who have more or less in your language abducted you for testing purposes. <laughs> right. But don't worry. It's going to be okay. Oh, I use the word people as to not frighten you. <laughs> I guess you would call my employers aliens. Mm-hmm. Well, like I said, we're very good at changing our shapes. They're completely customizable. So, they might look different depending on who you meet. This may be going over your head, Earthling. We'll get into more of that at another time. For now, is it okay if I get close to you? To examine your facial features? Okay, good. Hold still. My, my, human, you have such interesting features. And I mean that with all sincerity. Okay. Now, that I have that in there. I'd like to take a look at your eyes. Is that okay? Wonderful. I have this pen light right here. And if you can just look right here and try not to move. Yes, your head, neck, and shoulders. Now I want you to follow the light with your eyes only. Here we go. Don't look away. You can open up your mouth, stick out your tongue, and say, ah. Oh, fascinating. Oh, I see you have one throat and some small dangly things coming down at us. Oh, it makes you gag. Fascinating. Just taking notes. Small tangly thing at the back of Earthling throat when touched. 
they make loud Mind if I take a quick peek into your ears? Here we go. Gross. And they're signed. I am going to want to run some quick tests if that's okay with you. One second while I grab some more stuff here. Alright, I am back. And I've got here my ear probing. Why did you react to the word probe? <laughs> Silly earthling. Probing can be fun. Especially when done safely. And then I have tons of probing instruments here. I want to test all of your senses, Earthly, but today we're going to start with hearing. So, we're going to start by probing into your ear holes here and making sure that they are completely clean. And then we'll test your hearing. So hold still here while Clean those We'll just take another quick peek into your ears. Oh, gross. God, that's looking a lot less gross. And there's slide here. I'd like to say some words, and I just want you to repeat them back to me. Here we go. Let's keep on the No. How you want to get the car? 
Ooh. Your hearing seems to be absolutely terrible. Perhaps you humans are further back in advancements than we anticipated. Well, no matter. Let's try this. Yes. I'll give it a little hit, hold it up to your ear, and you tell me when it stops. Here we go. You're back on the evolutionary chain. <laughs> I'll put that in my computer. Time for you to talk. Next, let's just run a couple tests on your site. So I have these glasses right here. And I'm just going to put them on and you tell me what colors you see. Here we go. Well, it's slightly concerning, as I suspected. You all humans do not see the full color spectrum. <laughs> but we'll be able to fix that when we reach my home planet. Mm -hmm. I'm bringing you back home for further testing purposes. Well, I'll let you meet me in full body once I know I can trust you and that you are not hostile. <laughs> but for now, I have two last tests for you.
the word you humans call it. Hmm. Cream? Ointment. I have this agent here I want to apply to your skin. Well, I'm concerned about you on our planet environment. It is not something that you are used to. So I have put some of our minerals and such in this here serum. And I want to apply it to your skin and see how it reacts. You may need to wear a full suit upon our atmosphere. Now I'm going to put this on your skin. I will rub it in and we will give it some time to settle. I think I'll come back in the morning. Well, morning for you. Give or take. does it? Okay, good. That would have been a warning sign. It did that to the last specimen. Nothing. All right. I'm just going to remove any excess so that it will not burn off your flesh. now. You seem quite tired as you've had a long journey. I'll let you get your rest. I want to come back. We'll see how your skin has held up. And if all goes well, I'll bring you onto my planet. All right. You sleep well, you I'll see you soon. Bye. Rain 7.